Chop chop. Chop chop. And we're already talking about food. We all were so hungry on this walk. And we had a phone call from Megan to say, where are you? Um, and they got themselves a little bit lost. Good morning, day seven from Estella. So we had an amazing sleep last night um, at the Auberge. The Auberge had two separate rooms. Me and Louise actually managed to sleep in a double bed last night, Louise, didn't we? She yes, seems, yes. Um, and the kids had two single beds, no bunk beds and no jumping up on top last night with no ladders, which was just amazing. Um, we will put the link to the old brush just below us um, because if you are doing this route, then we would highly recommend it. And actually it was only a euro or two more than uh, where we stayed the night before. So we are going off to Los Arcos today, um, about a 22 and a half K walk. Um, Louise's blisters um, are doing well, you can see there, she's doing quite well on the blisters. Um, so um, we think we're going to have a good day. We're going to go and find some Café Con Leche um, and um, some more Compede. Um, so if you do have shares in Compede, um, good, 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 good for this, this year's uh, dividends, I'm thinking you're going to get a few quid. I'm so tired of I'm loving the conversations with the kids that pop up during these times. So I've just had this conversation with Henry about reducing a red wine down um, into more of a, a thicker liquid sauce and then putting a few berries in it, like red berries and black blackberries. And then making mashed potato, lamb chop, um, peas, carrots, uh, mashed sweet, and then drizzling on the red wine juice. It's not, I think it's just turned eight o'clock in the morning. Um, and we're already talking about food. We were all so hungry on this walk. Um, all for the positive reasons though. I'm so tired of So this day is just getting better. It's around 20 past eight in the morning. Uh, come across a winery here, Bodegas Irasche. Uh, look at the grapes there. They're not quite popping out yet. However, we're not far away from the fountain of life. Louise, what have we just found? We found the fountain of wine. Or fountain of life. Or fountain of life. It says, if you want to arrive in Santiago with the strength and vitality of this great wine, have a drink and toast to happiness. Take my glasses off so I don't lose them. Why right. Them? <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just going to go under, have I? Yeah, just make go for it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> She's drunk already. Keep going, Lou. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Empty mm. left. I've done it all. Any left. Oh, nice. <sighs> Morning. We're on our way out of Estella. We're on our way to Los Arcos today. Kids have gone ahead a little bit. They're playing a game, which is quite nice to see. Yeah. They're just like pottering along. Um, a little bit bored, I think, but in kind of a good way. So they're interacting and keeping each other company at the minute. Yeah, it's really nice to see that. Blisters are a little bit better today because we treated them last night. How'd you treat them, Lou? Uh, Pop them. Pop them. With a needle. Very nice lady in the pharmacy helped me out with a ne with a free needle last night. And um, so we popped them, put some iodine on them last night, let them dry out, put a new compound on this morning. And how did they do? They're still sore. But it's not like yesterday I felt like I was walking on knives and I was in tears in the morning. I didn't know how I was going to do it. Um, whereas today, no tears so far. It's just a bit sore. Yeah. But I'm actually able to sort of look at the view and stop and take a photo. Whereas yesterday I was just in so much pain I couldn't be bothered. I just wanted to keep going. Whereas today I, I want to make sure that I'm stopping and enjoying the journey a little bit more. Mark, 
so we are day seven, as I'm sure you've already said. Yeah. Um, I've got a few questions for you. Oh, go on then. Quick fire. Yeah. So, first off, what uh, has been your favourite day so far? Oh, I would say um, it was walking from Ronsave, um from the monastery. So day three is my favourite day so far. Um, it was nice weather. Uh, it was just beautiful scenery, um, nice terrain. Everything was good about it. Okay, if um, I said to you that you can have one luxury item from home oh. and it will be delivered to your bed every night of the Camino, you don't have to carry it, what would it be? Duvet. <laughs> I'd have a duvet every night just to cut you up into. Although it's really warm, we're really lucky. Every place we stayed has not been cold, it's been really quite warm and stuff. Um, I just think the comfort factor of a duvet. The kids, we left them behind for a little while and said, you know, have a little rest, catch up with us, it's absolutely fine. Um, and then we had a phone call from Megan to say, where are you? Um, and they got themselves a little bit lost. Um, in fairness, there was a divide in the path, but there was a large path and then there was a real small path. And I think the kids had their head down and just carried on up the path. Um, and they said, we're up by a road. <laughs> we have seen no road. Um, so we're like, no, wrong way kids, come back down. But in fairness, it's really good. They could just come back down. They've just met us up. Um, so there's no panic. We've got our two children back. There they go. You okay, Lou? Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Blisters are kicking in, eh? I'm singing, thanks Aww. for all the, the joy you're bringing. Who can live without it? All honesty, who would you be? Our bed for the night. We're here, Los Arcos. Oh. Hello. Hello, Mr. Billy Goat. Hello. Okay, so we've just come to the Isaac O'Burge. Um, it was eight euros a night. Um, we've got our covers here, uh, and we've got about 40 people in the room with us. It's currently empty. Beds are on the chairs because they're currently empty, but as people are coming in today, they'll start taking them up. Um, we're really hungry because we've walked like 23K today, so um, we're going to go and get something to eat, and we'll bring you with us. Okay, so we're in, where are we again? Los, Los Arcos. Los Arcos. So we're in Los Arcos. Uh, they're a little town actually, it's really pretty, look at that. It's really pretty, got a lot of little tower in there and stuff, got an archway, little river running past it. So we've just dropped our bags off into the uh, Auberge. So as you've seen, we've got like something like 40 people sleeping with us tonight, which will be fun. Um, but the kids are hungry, we're hungry. We didn't really eat anything, so uh, we're gonna go get something now and probably a pint of beer because I think we all deserve it. Oh. 